it seems that a substantial number of individuals are having their inquiries addressed. Despite the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC deeming naked short sales illegal in 2008, the practice still persists within the market. Consider this. A notable instance, as outlined in an article on Yahoo Finance, revolves around the recent GameStop saga in 2021. This incident stands out as one of the most infamous examples of naked short selling, where traders shorted approximately 140% of the available shares. What's particularly intriguing is the revelation that this figure implied over 40% of the actual float was shorted, a situation deemed impossible without the existence of phantom shares. These phantom shares facilitated a substantial number of failures to deliver FTD, contributing significantly to the rally's momentum. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell, so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert this is not a financial advice video. The crux of the matter lies in the fact that these naked short sales effectively deposited digital entitlements into buyers' accounts, representing a form of IU or promise to deliver. Consequently, when investors sought to capitalize on market dips, they unwittingly acquired these IU-type securities instead of tangible shares. Compounding the issue, the failure to locate and deliver these shares further exacerbated the situation, ultimately becoming a footnote in market history. Interestingly, as the short squeeze gained momentum, the scarcity of available shares meant that many short sellers struggled to fulfill their obligations, fueling the upward trajectory of the rally. One might reasonably wonder why similar scenarios aren't unfolding with other stocks characterized by elevated fail-to-deliver rates. The authors of the aforementioned article shed light on this discrepancy, highlighting certain loopholes exploited by market participants to perpetuate naked short selling. One such tactic involves the utilization of zero-plus agreements, allowing traders to simultaneously engage in long and short trades. This strategic maneuver enables them to offset potential losses incurred from naked short selling while evading regulatory penalties. Every facet of the market, every instrument traded, is meticulously crafted and regulated. However, some individuals exploit these intricacies for personal gain, blurring the lines between legality and illegality. Terms like legal and illegal naked short selling aren't arbitrary distinctions. Rather, they delineate the boundaries within which market participants operate. It's conceivable that regulatory bodies like FINRA and the SEC employ similar methodologies to discern between permissible and impermissible practices, such as the loophole described earlier. While not an authority on the matter, it's evident that such information isn't exclusive to Yahoo Finance readers. It's accessible to regulators, provided they choose to act upon it. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.